Hello guys and welcome back. First I want to say thank you everybody who gave me so much feedback for my previous video. I really do appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, I, I am so happy to hear that a lot of you actually you know found it helpful and and that's just such a wonderful feeling knowing that something I, I made was able to help somebody else. That is awesome. And from the feedback I got, I, I noticed that there were a lot of specific questions about topics like the radiators, uh, flaps, uh, mixture, and so on. So I'm gonna be doing videos specifically for such topics. And we're gonna start with this question uh, from the feedback. How do radiators work and when should I open them or close them? Uh, funny thing, I found I found myself uh, on the same question when I got started. So. So it's wonderful that now I am able to answer it. So how do radiators work? Radiators work by opening a flap on the aircraft. This flap, when closed, does not let any airflow uh, air, air flow th through the radiator. Therefore, the, ra the radiator cannot effectively cool what's inside. Now, by opening the radiator flap, it allows air through, and then the radiator can actually cool its content efficiently. Now. In the Yak 69 that we got right in front of us, which you get w yeah, by buying a uh, uh, IL-2 uh, Battle of Stalingrad, um, you can notice both radiators, one on the belly and the one on the nose. Now, if I were to open, sorry, close my water radiator, you will see that it's one on the belly. You can actually see how it's closing. You see that? That is so cool, right? The, the devs have uh, made such an amazing game with the amount of detail, it's crazy. I love it. So if I open them, you can see the flap, how it's fully opening the uh, the radiator. But what happens when you fully open the radiator? It, it makes the air f airflow go through the ra radiator, but, but it also is creating drag because that airflow goes through the radiator right there on the front and is creating a drag on the plane. Now, let me show you guys the nose one as well. If I open the nose radiator, you can see that little flap there on the nose, how it open and how it close. So that's basically how it works. It's a very simple, it's a very simple process. Now, when you fully open a radiator, the radiators are gonna be creating drag for the plane. Therefore, the drag, the, uh, therefore the plane is gonna be slow, slightly slower th that when it, when the radiators are fully closed. It's important to note that the weather which you're gonna be flying on, whether it's summer or winter, can actually affect your radiators. What I mean by this is that if you're in winter and you have your radiators fully open and you are in a dive, you can actually overcool your engine and you don't wanna do that. Also, very important, if you are on winter, you can actually have your radiators quiet and uh, closed. I mean, you can put them on 30 or 20% because the weather is already helping you to keep your engine quiet, cool. Therefore, you are allowed to have your flaps in a position that gives you less drag. So, yes, the weather affects your radiator. So that's another factor you need to think about and will affect your decision into how much uh, radiator you wanna put, whether 50, 60, or all the way up. Now, if we were to be flying in summer, and it's a very hot day, I don't know, let's say 30 Celsius, then perhaps we would like to have our radiators open for quite a bit, so we can keep that engine cool. Let's go ahead and jump into the demonstration. In conclusion, guys, your radiators are used to keep your engine cool to prevent overheating. When to close them and when to open them is all about the situation you are on. All right? Now, I wanna show you guys a example of the drag of the radiators. So right now, we are leveling up. We have all radiators fully open and we are going at 450 kph at the moment. We're gonna wait a few months, uh, a, a little bit more 
to see how fast it can go with the radiators fully open and what happens if I fully close them all right all right guys so as a demonstration I want to show you guys the drag effect on a plane so I've been flying straight for the past minute or so with my radiators fully open as you guys can see they're fully open all right let me show you guys both of them in, into 100 and our speed is that of 490 kph almost 500 kph i believe that that's the measurement here and with the russian planes i'm not an expert guys again these these videos are meant for the basic level like a gamer guy who wants to get into alto like myself i love this i love this game very much but i'm not a pilot i'm not an expert anyway so now we are not there yet so what happens if i fully close my radiators now let's go ahead and do it now this is a drastic this is very drastic example but as you can see we already closed the radiators all the way to zero and you can already slightly see how that needle is already passing the 500 and this is slowly very slowly moving past the 500 uh, kph mark which is the 50 right there correct so it is very very cool to experiment like this as you can see we were able to increase about 10 kph now 20 kph or, or like on our max speed with fully radiators right so now instead of 490 we are at 510 kph per hour by just closing all radiators fully but what happens if we leave all radiators closed for a very long time what will happen is that our engine will start to overheat we can see already that the temperature of the water is already hitting 100 plus and increasing and we can see the oil as well is already hitting the 100 temp like the celsius temperature which is very high and there we go first engine overheating and it's already the plane is already telling me bro you're over overheating we're still going very fast we almost uh, arrived we almost got 20 so we're gonna go ahead and fully open them again to try to avoid try to avoid killing our engine so we're gonna fully open them and we can see how the temperatures they start going back we see the water temperature going back into 100 and we see that oil temperature also reducing from that 100 mark right there which is amazing and immediately we look at the speed and we can clearly see how the speed is already going down so now in which situation again i repeat in which situation would i use when i would i close the radiators is exactly a situation where i really need to get away when i need to risk overheating my engine i need to risk it all and survive therefore i will close it and right now we're flying on a straight line what happens if we were on a shallow dive what happens if we were on a on, on, like with a little bit of mo more, more altitude we could definitely had hit higher marks and we could have potentially stay alive so that's it for radiators i hope i was able to explain myself as much as i can and i hope i was able to help you guys out with the radiators topic thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode which could be flaps mixture probably both of them together so oh seven